Good morning, afternoon, or evening. This is a War Selection gameplay recording, instead of a replay this time, of uh, 1v1s, which will become the primary focus of my channel now, as I'm going to play team matches. Uh, this is a good show of Europe in a team ma in a 1v1, sorry, using some rams. Here I you start using some fish after checking out my spawn with my scout after not scouting for the first minute of the game, you know, typically. Uh, I sent five workers over to collect fish, I could have sent a few more maybe, but I was unable to catch any deer with the bulwark and scout. Uh, I only build two fight pits and a stone cutter, and I accidentally get the upgrades for the warriors and macemen instead of the slinger upgrades. I tried to fit maybe 10 to 15 slingers into my population, so I get 45 to 50 workers in the Stone Age, and then go straight for the population upgrade once I get to the Bronze Age. I do correct my mistake, I think, with the upgrades in the Stone Cutter later on, though. Another issue I've been having in 1v1s recently is uh, iron and copper. The copper here you see with my temple is the only copper on my side of the map, while my enemy has two. So you can see that I've got no more workers being produced, and my slingers are now starting to come out. I've got ten more population space, so I will have uh, about, I think, thirteen slingers once I've finished training. Quickly executing his scout to stop him getting any intelligence on my base, as I don't think he's uh, had much of a look. And um, this is mostly my defense: uh, bulwarks on uh, covering my houses and economy, and also slingers to be able to move around and hit the enemies and kite them. Unless they're stone warriors, of course, because they're much faster. So my first batch of slingers here. I have the slinger accuracy upgrade. Uh, my fish ran out, so I move my workers back onto berries, which is much less effective. I believe it's 1.8 collection rate for fish and uh, 1.1 collection rate for berries without the upgrade, of course. Uh, here you can see an attack from my enemy using macemen and uh, workers building bulwarks. But my I send a few workers to deal with the bulwarks, and my slingers kite the macemen. Uh, I make a mistake here by sending my workers through the macemen to get to the bulwarks, so I do lose uh, one worker there, and they get damaged a little bit, as they are walking through the macemen, not around. But my slingers easily can handle the macemen, as they're quite slow. And my workers uh, do their best to stop the enemy workers from putting the bulwarks at my base. You can see in the top corner of the base that the slingers have won with combat, and the only damage I've taken so far is one worker and some slings. And a bulwark, that is. He only sent three workers, so I kill the workers before he's finishing. He's able to finish his last bulwark. I pull back my workers as I don't want them to get killed and th uh, push forwards with my bulwark, slowing up bulwark slings. I've also reached the Bronze Age by now. And uh, I've got the population upgrade, I can start making workers for iron, and I stopped making slingers in a second so I can get my farm up, as I went through that thousand um, food very quickly. As you can see, the attack is repelled, and I just start to try to stabilize my food economy by building my farm. I also set up a, a fishing dock and get three or four fishermen, fishing boats that is, to go and uh, collect me food. A more sustainable and reliable source. Here you can see I'm fortifying my defenses, you know, covering up the weak spots. One worker to build a wall this side, and another worker to build a wall at the south of my base, where I uh, mistakenly built my base in a way that you can get in through the south. That was a poorly planned base building there. I also start making some spearmen to help in defense. 
and I build my wall in the narrowest part possible, using my houses as part of the wall. The few towers I have, I'm hoping we'll be able to hold off enemies while I repair, counter repair for any damage taken. I also decide to wall in this wood line completely because I'd rather not um, constantly have the issue of m my workers cutting down trees which are important for my defence. So I just build a wall in front and forget about it. You can see my slingers are clearing animals while my spearmen are still getting trained up. I'm almost at my population cap and my enemy has also gone Europe as I've kept my scout. So, I've got my two stables built outside my base because uh, rams do not fit through gates. So I'm taking a bit of a risk here, but seeing as his town hall is so exposed and he's still bronze age or iron age, um, he won't have anything to counter my rams, unless he builds legionaries or axemen. Or maybe swordsmen, I guess, but most of the time in 1v1s people do not uh, unlock the researchable units and with the scarcity of iron in this game uh, I wasn't expecting him to spend a lot on legionaries. So my rams are spawned out of the stables. Uh, Eastern Europe also gets rams but I believe they come out from the uh, siege workshop instead of the stables. I think uh, Eastern Europe should get some buffs to their rams to make sure you know because medieval units can capture rams, but here you can see uh, I use my rams to soak damage and my infantry to stand behind the rams and let the archers and towers attempt to take down the rams, which they are not doing very well. So I go round this way to circle his town hall and kill any workers that will try to repair while my rams wear him down. As you can see here, the towers and archers are just doing nothing to these rams because of their quite high armour, especially for a Iron Age unit. So my slingers and spearmen start attacking the town hall, and one ram gets in range. With a relatively fast attack rate and decent damage, and my enemy quits saying that he cannot out repair or kill them. Thank you for watching, enjoy the rest of your day and goodbye.